Wonder Woods is a two to five player game for ages eight and up with an average gameplay length of 15 to 20 minutes published by Blue Orange. The basic overview of Wonder Woods has players placing baskets on mushroom patch boards to collect mushrooms to hopefully score a lot of points per mushroom, but the value is unknown. Once two patches are out of mushrooms, the players will finish the harvest phase and the game ends. The values are revealed and the player with the most points wins. To set up the game, each player will take seven baskets of the same color, put two in the middle of the table and keep the rest in front of them. Place the mushroom patches for all players to see and reach. Depending upon the number of players, place a certain number of mushrooms under each matching patch. For a two player game, use eight mushrooms of each type. Three player game, use 10 mushrooms. A four player game, use 12 mushrooms. And in a five player game, use all 14 mushrooms. Next, take the information cards and separate them into four piles, one for each type of mushroom. Take one pile at a time, flip it face down, and then shuffle the pile. Take a single card without looking at it or showing it to any player and place it face down under the matching mushroom patch. Do this with each pile. Once all patches have a card under their board, shuffle all the remaining cards together to make a single pile. In a two player game, deal each player four cards and place the rest of the cards nearby face down in a draw pile. In a three player game, deal all cards to each player, giving them four cards each. In a four player game, deal all cards, giving each player three cards each. And in a five player game, deal two cards to each player while returning two cards back to the box without looking at them. These information cards in your hand will give you some information on what the value of each mushroom patch might be. You will use this information to help you make the right decision throughout the game. The last player to have gone mushroom picking will take the first player marker, or you may just choose a first player at random. The first player will start, and the game is played over several rounds and is played in two phases. The first phase is the harvest phase. Starting with the first player and going clockwise, each player will place baskets to collect mushrooms. To collect mushrooms, first choose a patch and place the number of baskets required on the leftmost column of the mushroom patch available. If you do not have enough baskets or there are not any columns available, you must choose a different patch. Or if there are no mushrooms, you may also choose a different patch. If you can place baskets, you will collect one of the mushrooms of that type. If you cannot or wish not to, you can skip your turn for this round. Once all players have placed their baskets that they could play and or have all skipped, but before moving on to the next phase, award a bonus mushroom for each patch to the player with the most baskets on that patch. If tied for the most, no bonus mushroom is awarded for that patch. Also, if there are no mushrooms left in the patch, no bonus mushroom is awarded. Once all bonus mushrooms are awarded, the harvest phase is over and each player will collect their baskets. Phase two is the information exchange phase. Starting with the first player, each player will choose if they want to reveal an information card from their hand. First, place it face down in front of you and collect one of the extra baskets you've placed in the middle of the table at the start of the game. If you do not wish to reveal information, you can skip, but you will not gain the extra basket. Once all players have either placed a card face down in front of them or have skipped, at the same time all players will flip the information card face up for all to see. Side note, in a two player game you will also flip one information card from the deck of the remaining information cards. After revealing the information cards, the information phase is over and the first player will pass the first player marker to the left to the next player and they will start the next round. Continue each round the same way by starting with the harvesting phase, then awarding bonus mushrooms, followed by the information exchange phase. Do this until at least two mushroom patches have no more mushrooms available 
And once that happens, finish the current harvest phase and proceed to scoring. Flip over the information card that was placed under each mushroom patch. Calculate the number of points each player has by multiplying the number of mushrooms of that type by the value displayed on that information card. Do the same for each patch and add together for the final total. The player with the most points wins. If tied, the player with the most mushrooms wins. And if still tied, both players share the victory. And that is how you play Wonderwoods. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notified about new videos. If you're bored now, click this for more games.